Hey, what is going on, Sagittarius? Butch Tarot here. <laughs> um, first of all, happy birthday to all, all my Sagittarius out there. Uh, mine's on the 18th. Um, let me know in the comments when your birthday is. Maybe we'll have the same birthday. Maybe we're twinning. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's Sagittarius time of year. Favorite time of year. Um, I am going to do your reading for December. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the, the Pulp Tarot. It's actually, I just got this deck and I've been using it steady because it's just, it's awesome. Uh, I love the nostalgic look to it all. It's very unique. I've never seen it before, so it was very, very cool to get it. Um, with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on? Sagittarius for December 2023. What is going on for Sagittarius? Ooh, that scared me. What is going on for Sagittarius? What message do we have for the Sagittarius? Sagittarius. So the first thing I see, Sagittarius, is I feel like a lot of you are going through similar to what I'm going through. Um, you know, a, a reestablishment of yourself. Um, finally starting to see the true potential that you have. Um, this is not about anything other than you. You know, I feel like this, this fearless energy is coming over you. And, you know, having no fear. I feel like you've been holding yourself back long enough. Uh, with that page of wands, you know, that true potential starting to see see through. Finally starting to see what you are capable of and, and, and what you deserve. Um, you know, taking that very commanding presence with that king of swords and also the king of wands. Um, going after what you want. This is what this month is all about for you. It's about you getting what you want because you deserve it. It's not about holding back. It's not about um, a lot of other things that you know, keep us from getting what we want. It's okay to want things. It's okay to go after it. What that King of Wands is going after and holding on tight to what it is that you want. And that commanding presence, that authoritative figure, standing up for yourself. You know, I, I feel like we're coming out of this, um, this energy of where we overthink. And I'm, I am guilty of that, guilty as, as charged. Uh, I overthink. You know, I think too damn much about things that I don't need to think about. Um, and it just clouds my brain. You know, I, I feel like a lot of this for a lot of people uh, has sparked from a tower moment. Something that wasn't working fell apart. It, it came crumbling down. And we have a choice to be made in that moment. Is that we either step up, rebuild, make it stronger... Or we just sit there and whine about it, which is not something I'm willing to do. And I don't think you are because Sagittarius, uh, you know, that's, that's not who we are. So I, I, I feel like it's a big month for you. We're talking about, you know, uh, new inspiration, new passion. Something's driving you and, 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 it, and it's driving you to live without regrets. You know, no more overthinking, no more um, dealing with things that don't bring you benefit. I feel like you're seeing a true perspective, a, a, a truly new perspective 
And I feel like the things in front of you are, are, are becoming more and more clear. Things that were always there that you didn't see. But now where this leads, I feel like there's some someone that you fantasize about. There's someone that, you know, you truly care about. And I feel like we haven't gone out of our way to make that happen. We haven't nurtured this situation before. But I feel like this new beginning is all about nurturing it. Stop fantasizing and start living it. You know, being being honest with ourselves is the first step here. Queen of Wands, all about, or Queen of Swords, all about being honest. And then we have, the reason I said Queen of Wands, because we do have the Queen of Wands, is all about following, you know, going after what you want and not letting go. Now, what, in any way, shape, or form, what that means, you know, stop looking at the negatives. Don't worry about the negatives. Think about the positives. I feel like this this way of thinking has got, gotten us where we're at right now. And, and yes, it's beneficial because we've, we're, we're starting to come out of it and we're starting to get ourselves back in that groove. Um, you know, Sagittarius, we're fire. You know, we weren't made to burn out. We weren't made to be small. And this person that you think about, it's all about letting that shit go, letting all the negative things go, letting all the things that are holding you back go, and, and just, you know, with that devil card... And then just going after it. You know, an impulsive move is going to make a huge change for you coming in December. And, and things are really going to turn around. And you will find balance. Now, this person I'm talking about, you know, this person that you fantasize about, I, I, I feel like you may think that the, the chance is gone, but it's not gone. They haven't let you go. And they may even tell you that they let you go, but they're, they're still holding on to it. You know, they're still holding on to hope. Um, you know, they're, they're ready for you. They didn't think you were ready for them, but they're holding on. This person isn't going anywhere. Like I said, once you take that, that leap, this person is going to be right there to, to jump in with you. This person knows exactly what they want. All they wanted was you to step up. All they wanted to, for you is to come out of this this moment. And and I don't know how long this moment has last, but I feel like it's lasted long enough that it's affected negatively your your energy and your and your life in general. Um, this person truly cares about you with that queen of, queen of cups. You know they want to be there for you, but they're not going to be there holding it on their own. You know we have the empress and emperor. I mean, I feel like this is a connection that was... It was true love from the beginning. You were meant to be with this person. But it's... The thing is, is sometimes we have to come to the realization. Sometimes we have to grow as a person. And sometimes we need space for that. And I feel like you had your space with that tower moment. You know, I feel like things fell apart. But it doesn't mean we can't rebuild. It doesn't mean we can't rebuild. And it doesn't mean we can't rebuild something... 10 times stronger because now we know where the weaknesses lie you know it's like building a house say you had a house and it it burned down um you know and it burned down very quickly because of, what, of the materials maybe you used so you know next time not to do that again you know you know next time to be aware of that and you put more effort and you put more love, and you put more, um, you know, of the positive energy into it, and you'll get something different. It's like that saying, if you change the way you look at the world, the world you're looking at will change. And like I said, I mean, we have the sun card and the moon card. Sun and the moon. You know, I feel like you're coming out with a real realization of who you are. You know, I feel like this this whole, um, this these changes that's been happening for you. Um, you know, the indecisiveness into you know the over into the overthinking, um, all those things that were holding you back anymore aren't holding you back anymore. So now you can finally see the true potential. Like I said, with that that uh, page of wands, and, and that true potential is going to make you happy. It's going to make that person happy. 
Um, you know, and I see a lot of form movement with this person. And like I said, I mean, with the chariot, the, that cancer energy, and then we have the knight of cups. Um, you know, this person's going to be really impressed by the changes that has happened for you and, and the way that you present yourself now. You know, I, I feel like they kind of knew it was always there. And that's why I don't feel like this person's let go. You know, what? this is all happening for a reason. Sometimes we need that moment where everything changes, where we can be who we're meant to be. Uh, a lot of times we live lives that weren't, we weren't meant to live. And like I said, with that, I mean, this is a connection that was made to be. I mean, we got the emperor. This is meant to be. We got the emperor, the empress, that protection, that nurturing, that uh, loving, that caring, that, that fire. It's all there. It's all there for the taking. You haven't lost anything. More so, I feel like you, you're going to gain a lot from this. You know, but don't have any regrets. Don't hold back. You know, go after what you want. Because it's what you want. And, and like I said, I mean, this person hasn't truly let go of you because they still have hope. They still have faith in you. And that's a big thing to get from someone. And if you get it, don't ever let it go. You know, hold on to it. Now with this person, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Cancer, Pisces. We also have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. That's the thing. Um, things that are meant to be don't just fade away. You know, even if you feel like you lost someone, it, 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 if they truly were meant to be with you, they're still there. You know, maybe you got to make some life changes. Maybe you need to make uh, uh, changes in the way you think or the way you act. Or, or you know, sometimes, like I said, with, with me, I have a tendency of having negative thinking. I overthink. Um, I think too deeply about things that don't mean anything. And I don't think deep enough about things that do. You know, I'm usually optimistic, but there's times in my life when, when I get down. And lately, I've been down. And I, and I feel like this... this this read is speaking to me as well. Um, you know, I, I feel like this message is for a lot of people is the fact is don't let go of what you want. If you truly want it, if you truly love someone, like I mean true love, then you either, you know, if you lost them because of the way you were and you weren't being yourself, you never really truly lost them. That other person lost them. And you always got a chance to get them back. Just put in the work. Don't hold back. Don't second guess yourself. And like I said, once you do all those things, once you believe in yourself, and it's about self-love too. It's something I've been learning a lot about lately. It's about loving yourself, trusting in yourself, trusting in the energy that you feel from other people. You know, the energy that you feel, trust it. Don't overthink shit. Don't let things get in your head. Don't, you know, don't make realities that aren't real. Because if you keep living in a negative reality, you're going to, you're, you're going to live. You know, you, you, you're buying a plot of land there and you're going to be in that negative reality for a long time. You know, go buy yourself some positive reality acreage. <laughs> Like, go live in positive land. Because a lot of people don't want to live in negative land. So the person that you want, maybe they don't want to live in that negative land with you. You know, maybe they don't want to, you know, be there. They want to be with you, but not there. You know, embrace the gifts that you've been given. Embrace those things that make you you. I'm not saying change who you are. But if you're anything like what I've been going through, I haven't been me for a very long time. And it's cost me everything. And I'm not gonna be that person anymore because it wasn't me. You know, there's a reason why, you know, I dealt with anxiety and stress and, and, and depression is because of the fact that I wasn't living who I am. I'm not, I wasn't being who I was meant to be. And the longer I did that, the more comfortable I felt in that. 
the farther I got away from who I really was. I'm not someone that backs down from nobody. I'm not someone that doesn't go after what they want. That's who I am. That's who I'm embracing now. I will get what I want. I will go after and put 100% in on anything that means the world to me. If it means the world to me, I'll give it the world. If it doesn't mean nothing to me, if it doesn't bring anything to me, and if it's some in any way, shape, or form uh, negatively affects my life, I cut it off. You know? That's one thing I've, I've really learned lately is the fact that if you are, if you're not being you, you know, who are you being? Like, I remember this old quote is, be yourself because everybody else is taken. You know, don't be what you think other people want you to be. I live that life. It's not for anybody. Like, I try to impress my parents and I try to impress my family and I try to impress this person and that person. And it didn't work. I didn't impress anybody. And if I did, it didn't matter because it didn't do anything for me. Now I'm impressing myself. And I'll always impress myself. You know, I've been doing things lately that I didn't think I could do. But I've been doing them. And it's given me more motivation every day to do something different. But like I said, if we're living a life that isn't working for us, then switch it up. Don't don't live in a life that you that you're not happy with. Because you're the only one that has to live there. No matter who you're with, where you're at, none of that shit matters. If you're not happy with yourself, no matter what situation you put yourself in, you won't be happy. You know, you live in an old, broke down, trashed out, you know, garbage ridden, infested with whatever, the worst possible scenario of a place that you, th that you can live, if you live there and you continue to live there, you'll become part of that. And you're better than that. You know, don't live in a negative space. You don't have to. There's no one telling you you have to. You don't want to, so don't do it. Big things are coming. And no matter what, this, this tower moment that has happened for you, everything made it, you might have hit, like, like I said, uh, a couple weeks ago, I felt like I hit rock bottom. But what I realized there is rock bottom is the beginning, not the end. You know, it's, it's like when you're building a house, you got to dig down and get, you know, your foundation down first. So you got to start from the bottom and work your way up. You don't build a house from the roof down. So don't try to build your life that way. Start from the bottom, you know, and, and that rock bottom wasn't really a rock bottom. What it was, it was us letting go of all the things that did me in no good. But anyway, that's a whole lot of preaching. You know, I love you, all my Sagittarius family. Um, I'm a Sagittarius sun and moon, so I'm passionate. And I know for all these, all those who this resonates with, I know it's not going to be easy. You know, I know things aren't going to be easy. But anything good in life never comes easy. Because then you don't appreciate it. You appreciate the things you work for. Be yourself. And don't let anybody hold you back. I'm not letting anybody hold me back anymore. If people want to jump on my train, they better be, you know, they better be wanting to get on board. Because I'm going to keep going. So... You see me going by, you want to get on, get on. But don't try to hold me back. Because it ain't going to work out for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.